provision that I address today is encourages the building of energy efficient commercial and government buildings. It's referenced in 179, section 179D of the tax code. I'd like to recognize the strong support of Congressman Reed of this committee and Congressman Reichert, as well as Congressman Blumenauer. And on the Senate side, Senators Cardin and Portman have been doing yeoman's work on this area of legislation. According to the Department of Energy, about 36% of all electricity, that's $4 out of every $10 just about in this country, and one-fifth of all energy is consumed by, cons by commercial buildings. The cost of electricity is a significant and a growing burden on both businesses and government, also known as a taxpayer, with taxpayers now shouldering about $10 billion a year for state and local government energy usage. That's the operating costs that are built in as a result of, in many cases, excess energy usage. In short, encouraging energy efficient buildings significantly supports the policy goals of energy independence while at the same time reducing costs for both businesses and for taxpayers. Mr. Chairman, I speak to you today as the Senior Vice President of Alliant Group. This is a national tax services firm that helps businesses qualify for 179D. I'm sharing my perspective on behalf of the company, which is a, has a national perspective, working with thousands of companies across the nation. In fact, many entities speaking today are members of the 179D Coalition, of which Alliant Group is a proud member. My answer to those who ask, who ask fairly, why do we need a tax break to encourage the building of energy, efficiency, energy efficient buildings is the following four things. One, the benefits from energy efficiency have a long horizon. They are often not captured in making decisions about costs and funding for buildings, and rarely are they part of underwriting or fairly reflected underwriting in terms of financing. Second, a recognition that energy efficient design leads to greater energy independence. Third, our need to continue to encourage energy efficient design and maintain our leadership in this field. And fourth, this incentive helps provide and encourage designers, whether it's architects, engineers, or other contractors, to spend time, unbillable time, to develop cutting-edge technologies that lead to lower operating costs, ultimately leading to savings for taxpayers. There are things I think we can positively do to improve this provision, saves taxpayers money, makes the country more competitive, and I believe it's worthy of the committee's support.